given a set of data, it would be impossible to use linear interpolation to determine the f of x of a specific input. An approximation method known as forward Gregory interpolation can figure out the required. Learn about it here in Numerical Solutions to CE Problems. There are some limitations to the use of forward Gregory Newton interpolation. Let's identify these limitations through a data set. Say we have a table for input x and output y. Check the x intervals. Forward Gregory Newton can only be used when the x interval is regular or equal, say h. The second condition considers the location of the required value and to use the forward Gregory Newton, it should fall under the half below the mid value. For example, we can use forward Gregory Newton if we are looking for 2.5 or 3.2 or even 4.9, as long as these points fall before the midline. The method has derived an equation for interpolation polynomial, which is the following. This formula would also be used for finding the output of a certain x. From the formula, the first term y0 is the first output from the table, but there are some cases where this will be taken as the y value of the previous point, considering the position of the required f of x. r is computed from x, taken as x less x0 all over h. The values of delta y are taken from the difference table, they are the leading forward differences. Let's work on some examples to better understand the procedure. If for the data set we are required to determine f of 3.5, we start by creating the difference table of the data set. Place x and y into the first two columns and compute their differences for delta. For the first two values, delta y is taken as negative 4 minus negative 22, and that is positive 18. 19 minus negative 4 is 23, and 47 less 19 is 28. Since there isn't any pattern for the first delta, move to the second degree delta. 23 less 18 is 5, and 28 minus 23 is 5. With the same values for delta squared y, we can proceed to the formula. Check x interval. h is 3 for this example, so r can be computed and that would be the x of the value required. And we are looking for 3.5 less x0, which is the first leading forward difference all over h, which is 3. R will turn out as 0 0.1667. With all variables already identified, start computing for f of x from the formula. Y0 is the first y from the table and that is negative 22. The second term R, delta y, is 0 0.1667 multiplied by the value from the table, which is 18. The third term is r, which is 0 0.1667, multiplied by r minus 1, or 0 0.1667 minus 1, times delta cube y, which is 5 from the table, all over 2 factorial. Simplify the computation and arrive at f of 3.5 as negative 19.346678. Let's analyze example two. We are to determine y if x is 3.5 given the following data set. With the same start, place x and y into the first two columns and work on the difference table. Begin with delta y and proceed to delta squared y. 
Next is to compute for delta cube y from the values under delta squared y, and since there are still no equal interval, continue to solve the fourth degree delta. At this point, it is observed that the difference wouldn't close and the table ends with 1, but still take the leading forward differences. The procedure to continue will still be the same as that from the first example. Solve for r by identifying h, which is 1, and plug values of x as the required minus x0, or 3.5 less 2 all over 1, which comes out as 1.5. Plug the values from the leading forward differences and r, so we get the long equation, which can then be simplified as negative 7 plus 6 plus 1.875 minus 0 0.3125 plus 0 0.0703125 minus 0 0.0117 and this can then be further computed as 0 0.62109375 4f of 3.5. In the next set of examples, the required f of x lies from the second or succeeding values of x. The first two examples would have to use the values of x0 as the required fall after the first point. However, in this third example, f of 2.5 lies between the second point or the pair 2, 83. So just the same, create a difference table, and with a given, the difference table covers until the third degree of delta y. In this first solution, we are still going to use the leading forward differences. Since we are using the leading forward differences, we would take x0 as the first point of the table, which is 1, 15. h is 1, and r is solved as the required, which is 2.5 minus x0, and that is 1, all over h, so we have 1.5. Plug these values into the equation to arrive at a simplified computation of 15 plus 102 plus 138 minus 21, so f of 2.5 is 234. An alternative way is done by basing the computation from the point which precedes the required. If we are to find y, if x is 2.5, the preceding point is 2. So from the same difference table, instead of using the leading forward differences, we would trace the values from point 283. By using the second point, although h remains the same, r will be computed as 2.5 less 2, all over h, and now the new value of r is 0 0.5. Plug the values into Newton interpolation formula and arrive at 83 plus 218 less 88 plus 21, which gives f of 2.5 as 234 just the same. Now, before concluding anything, remember that the difference table of the data set close to zero. This means that using the leading forward differences would use four values, and using the second trend will also give four values. Now let's compare the case of example 4 with the given data set. We are to determine f of 1.2, which lies after the second point. Start with the difference table and note that for this example, the difference did not close to zero, but we ended up with 0 0.1 instead. For the first try, we use the leading forward differences, which includes five terms. By using the leading forward differences, y0 is taken as 5.1, the x interval h is 0 0.6, and r is 1.2 less 0 0.4 all over 0.6, which is then solved as 4 thirds. If we are to plug in the values into the formula, we are going to have the simplified value of f of 1.2 as 
we compare the value we just determined when we take the point just preceding 1.2. Note that from the difference table, there are only four elements included. That would be 7.1, 0 0.9, negative 0 0.8, and 0 0.4. By using the second point, y naught is taken as 7.1, h is still 0 0.6, but r will be computed as 1.2 less 1 all over 0 0.6 and that is 1 third. By placing the values into the formula, we arrive at f of 1.2 which is equal to 7.335803. And this is not equal to the answer we came up earlier. In this case, the closer and the more correct approximation is through the first process of that, which is 7.5094648. Mm -hmm.